Well, it, it always interests me that we have now DNA proof of our individuality, mm -hmm. and yet so few people seem interested. Mm -hmm. And see, somehow, mm -hmm. our individuality is conflicting mm -hmm. with the idea of God as one mm -hmm. totality. But mm -hmm. why can't both things be true? See, I feel individuality idea only supports God is one. Because even in DNA, there is a big empty space. In every uh, cell, that is, which is base for all DNAs to exist. <laughs> so, <laughs> that base is what we call God, God, our individual consciousness. <laughs> you can be anything. Christian. You can be anything and reach the highest heaven. See, highest heaven or hell is not, not even geographical. It is psychological. You create your hell, you create your heaven. So, be very clear, nobody can put you in hell or heaven. If somebody, uh, you see, God is not a peeping Tom, sitting somewhere and having a big uh, laptop and computer, doing all the accounts of what you are doing and with whom you are sleeping or with whom you are wa waking, you, with whom you are walking and all those things and having a big accounts and when you go back to him and he is sitting with a big stick to punish you and all. I, see, it looks too... Uh, I don't think people should be uh, 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 taught or uh, taught to live morally based on fear and greed. No, you are not a child. Still, that you, you should be uh, uh, trained with a fear and greed. You, you are. We are mature people. You should be allowed to be intelligent and don't bother about this hell and heaven and all those things. You see, no religion can assure promise hell or heaven. And it is your own creation. All we need to do is understand the science behind hell and heaven. And create what you want for yourself. If you want hell, create and enjoy. Because if you have created, because you wanted, it will not be hell. <laughs> Intention. Intention. You see, intentionally if you create hell, even the hell will not be hell because you wanted it. You, if you are creating it, you are enjoying it. It seems to me that if I, if I seek to know, mm -hmm. even if I make a mistake, mm -hmm. my, I'm misaligned, mm -hmm. what kind of God would not understand mm -hmm. that my intention is pure? That's all. I'm okay with that. <laughs> it seems That's to me all. that would be enough. I think uh, we should liberate people from fear and greed. The real religion is a religion which liberates people from fear and greed, not exploiting yeah. their fear and greed. Imagine being afraid of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so uh, exploiting the fear and greed is not a true religion. Let's go to Raul in South L.A. Raul, you're on KPFK and Intervision. Hi. That is, you see, the first thing, we are not talking about yourself to other people. You can't talk about yourself to other people. I am only talking about the technology through which I experienced myself so that it may help you also to experience yourself. That's all, is the truth. So actually, you cannot talk about yourself to others. You understand? Because yourself is such an intimate experience. You can't, you know, first, forget about talking, you can't talk actually. It is such an intimate experience, you can't express it in the words. The moment you try to express it in the words, it becomes again uh, one more theory. So, you can't express it in the words. You may only share the technique which you used to experience the self or you may inspire the other person by the solid blissful experience which you had when you experienced yourself. That's all. You can give only inspiration and guidance, not the experience itself. Okay. Does that make sense Thank to you? you? <laughs> I hope so. We're, all, we're almost out of time. Uh, uh, I, I, I just can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you. You know, I've done radio for 35 years. <laughs> I've been here in Los Angeles, I mean, in the KPFK for 13 years. And I've done um, interviews with a lot of mystics and gurus mm -hmm. and swamis and 
authors and brain researchers, and I feel such a good energy from you. Thank you. <laughs> and I must say, even from your people. Thank you. <laughs> the, the people that, that came to me initially and suggested that we do this show. And so I just want to deeply thank you. Thank for, you. <laughs> because you don't have to come out. People so nice. come to you. <laughs> and that you come out, that you would come down to KPFK yes, and sit nice. in our studios yes. <laughs> and give me this opportunity and our listeners yes. just on behalf of everyone listening. Thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed your uh, uh, interview and the uh, uh, questions from the listeners Good. and the whole experience. Good. Really, I also thank you. See, one, one thing. Uh, it is not that only uh, uh, students or the listeners learn. The person who is teaching also, I also learn. I also uh, tune, polish the way in which I express. So my expression is again and again sharpened and uh, developed. The more I uh, relate with the people, more I connect with the people. So you also added to me. It's not that only I added to you. You also added to me. That's why in Vedic tradition, before starting any teaching or after ending any teaching, we chant a beautiful uh, uh, two line. Sahana vavatu, sahana vunaktu, sahaviryam karavavahai, tejasvinavadi tamastumavik vishavahai, om shanti. Means, let both of us learn together. Let both of us enrich our life. Let the divine ultimate guide both of us to grow together and let us live let us have peaceful, loving relationship. Let us be peaceful. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.